Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle, aka The Boss Lady Builder. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Well, I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought, hey, let's get one going. So today, since as you can see, it's pretty gloomy out. It's been raining yesterday and it's supposed to be today. Um, the project I have going on right now for construction side of things is in the early stages, meaning we're doing dirt work and such, and the weather can really affect the work. So today is going to be more of a laid back day. I just had to go check on a rental property that I help with a client to oversee. I do not call myself a project manager because I do not handle the funds. All I do is handle communication, seeing as my client, the landlord, lives overseas. So we got a letter from the HOA saying, hey, these people shouldn't have a grill outside in the front of their house. And so I just drove by and the grill's not there. So obviously it was there temporarily and they moved it. I didn't even have to talk to the client. I just wanted to check and see for myself what the HOA was telling me. So, avoided an issue there. Um, I am now on my way to meet with my media guy. He is putting together a 3D rendering of the project in Canyon Lake. So we're gonna go discuss that. I might get some behind the scenes, see what he has so far. I can also show you the um, renderings that he did do just for my signage that I need to get going. So I'll show that here. And now let's go and check out what we have going on today. Well, that 3D um, rendering's coming quite along. I'm excited to see it when it's done. Um, now I'm going to take a break and probably go walk on the treadmill at the gym. Didn't get a very good night's sleep because of the kids, so my head is really feeling it today. Don't feel good at all, so maybe I can walk it off. Let's see what happens. So instead of just uh, walking on the treadmill, I did some biceps and back and this outfit is courtesy of some leggings that tore and I just cut them into shorts. I just wanted to hop on and say don't ever underestimate how a workout can make you feel because I didn't sleep well because of the kids um, and I had like woke up with a, he a headache and I don't know if you guys um, suffer from this, but I think I grind my teeth at night. So like that pressure that I'm grinding my teeth gives me a headache. So like I woke up with like pain right back here. Um, went to do my morning routine for work, uh, as you saw. And then I was like, I need to go to the gym, maybe walk this off. So I did some walking on the treadmill. If you don't have the Peloton app, I highly suggest it because you can still use it without having any of the Peloton equipment. Obviously I have the bike, so I have the app, but um, they have some good workouts on there. And I like to take it to the gym and walk on the treadmill and do their walking classes because it's a lot more than just, you know, walking on the treadmill, you change speeds and they tell you to change inclines. And so you get much more of a workout. So I highly suggest that. Not paid to say that, wish I was, but no, I do not work for Peloton. They just have a really good app. So I just wanna say, don't ever underestimate what a workout can do. Now I'm feeling much better, ready to go grab some lunch and get back to work. And if there's any interest, anything else interesting going on, I'll take you along and show you what's going on today. As I said, today's a laid back day. Um, so there's not much going on because we can't really do site work. Um, they were trying to get me to take some dirt today and they called me like, hey, can you take your loads today? I said, no, it's too wet out there. We're gonna have to wait and we're 
expected to get some more rain overnight, so we'll see how that affects everything. Um, but that's what, when we um, quote projects and they're like, oh, how can you say eight to 12 months? Well, if in the beginning we get really bad weather, that affects how the project goes because we can't get on the site until it dries out. And then you start some work and it rains again and then you can't get on until it dries out. So these are the things that hold you back in the beginning and I'll show you you know more on that when I get out there and uh, get some video for you um, and then anyways I spent um, the last few days last week looking for some land for a couple of clients I have uh, actually quite a few clients that are looking for one to two acres of land which is very hard to come by in their price point <laughs> I will say that um, it's like searching for that unicorn and when I do find something there's something about it that they don't like and it's off the market like that so even though they didn't want it somebody else did so um, you got to move quick in this market not only for resale homes but for land as well um, I know there's been quite a few deals out there to be had and um, I've even looked into them for the company to maybe build a spec although I have a partner that doesn't really want to take that on. Um, there have been some good opportunities out there and you know, if you're looking for land to build, I mean, it could be hard to come by, but if your parameters are right and you're realistic on budget, we can find you something and get, get started on a build. So um, that's what I was doing last week. A lot of touring of some new neighborhoods that are pretty much just dirt roads they don't even have the paved roads yet and pretty much 95 percent of the the lots in there are sold out already um so that's just to give you a perspective of what's going on in this market um but anyways i look like a mess let me go get some lunch maybe even clean up a little bit and i'll see if there's anything else to show you First thing you do is put the culvert so you can get access. Now we're clearing. I'll take you back.